nobody's around here, so I'm not pointing it at anybody. Open the chamber, 
release the spindle with two costs. Put one in. Click. Skip one. Click. Put one in. Fill it up. Skip that first one. So when you're done with this one, you know the next one under the hammer there is a live round. And then what you want to do is pull it back, put the empty chamber under the hammer, slowly release it. So now there's an empty chamber underneath the hammer. So if I have this on my belt and it gets hit by something, working out on the field, the horse, or whatever, it's not going to go off and shoot myself in the leg. Because the old westerns didn't have safety. That hammer sat on the pin. So if you hit it, it's going to go off. There's videos out there about it, even with this one. The way they're built. I just wanted to show everybody that it takes a cock back to pull the trigger. Now, they could have been using a different firearm. Either way, when you break the rules, somebody gets hurt or dies. So, be safe. And I'll always get a holster that covers the trigger. Especially on a Glock. There's no safety. Be responsible, gun owner. Only my wife knows where the other key is. <laughs>